I know you love Google Forms. I love Google Forms, but sometimes I don't want people to be taking the form until I'm ready for it. So I gave my students a test this last week and I wanted to ask a critical thinking question, but I wanted it to be part B of the test. I first wanted them to do my quizzes and actually on that quizzes, I had them retake it until they pass. When they showed me that they passed that first section, then I gave them the password so they could go on to part B and do the critical thinking question. So how did I do that? So to set a password on Google Forms, let's first see how that looks. So why don't you go ahead and scan this and see if you can fill out my Google Form. Try to take my quiz. And when you open it up, it's gonna ask you for your name. And then what is the password? And I would try to put in the password and it says, you must have the password. Um, it's not letting me, I'm gonna try to hit next. It won't let me, I cannot progress. I cannot see the questions. The password is actually Alice. So if you type typing in Alice, try typing in Alice, I'm gonna hit next. You're gonna see that since I do have the password correct, it brings me to the questions. I'm gonna put two and enter and I'm able to submit. So let's look at the steps for how you're gonna be able to set that yourself. So the first thing you would have noticed is I had a section and that section just said, what's your name, what's the password, didn't have any of the questions. So you want the questions to be in a different section. Now the question that you need in this first section needs to be a short answer question because they're gonna type in the password. So make sure you choose short answer question and have that in that first section and use the three dots to choose response validation. Now response validation defaults to number, so you need to switch it from number to text contains. Now this next step is really important and that is that you set a custom error text. If you do not set a custom error text, and I'm gonna show you this in a second, it will tell the student the password which completely negates the reason to have a password. So really super important, make sure you do this to set custom error text and make sure that the question is required because otherwise they won't need a password if it's not required. I did get these slides from slidesmania.com, rather the template. So if you want some templates, head over to slidesmania.com. So now let me show you how we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna do forms.new. And I'm gonna set this as, let it load. Quiz with a password. Click in the upper left, those are gonna match. I don't wanna, type in email addresses right now. Normally I would, but just for this presentation, I don't want to. Okay, what is your name? That's a short answer question. I'm gonna add another question. What is the password? Okay, so I have what is your name? What is the password? And then this is where it's gonna be really important. You see the floating toolbar on the right-hand side? Go all the way to the bottom and the very last icon says add section. So you wanna add a section for where you're gonna have the questions. The questions. So coming back up here to this section, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure this password is required. I'm gonna click on the three dots, three dots, and that's where you have the option for response validation. So response validation says you have to have it in this particular format in order to submit the form, or in this case, go to the next section. So I'm gonna do response validation and you can see that it defaults to number. So this is important, you wanna change it from number to text and it says text contains. Now what is your password? I'll put cat. Now I told you before, this was really important to do the custom error text. I'm gonna leave that blank for a second just so you can see why it's really important. It's required, I have text, I've got the password, I have a section. Let me go ahead and add a question. And we'll make that free response. And I'm gonna hit this eyeball here so we can fill this out. So we're gonna have Joe, and he's gonna fill out the password as password and hit next. And notice it says it must contain cat, where cat was my password. Uh, I don't want it to display the password to the students. So I'm gonna go back, let me close this and under what is the password and down here in the response validation, I'm gonna say my custom error text is request password from the teacher. That is my custom error. 
So now when I want to fill out this form, I'm Joe, I have password. It says request the password from the teacher. So that warning message is going to be what is in the custom error here. Instead of, notice it didn't say cat, because I would need to put cat in order to get to the next section. So it's pretty easy. Let's go back to the slides. Just run through those steps again. You need to have sections. It has to be a short answer question. You're going to turn on response validation with those three dots and change it to text from number so it's text contains and make sure you get that custom error message. If they put in the wrong password, what do you want it to tell them? And then make sure that that question is required. So that's it. Pretty easy. Hope that you enjoy adding passwords to Google Forms.